Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. I have a UI builder video for you. I'm going to show you how to edit your left hand menu. If you look just behind me here, I've got my Justin's house workspace that I created using Workspace Builder and App Engine Studio. But somewhere along the way, I wound up with an extra list menu over here on the left hand side. And I was like, what the heck? So I'm trying to learn UI Builder and I figured out how to fix this or change this. Um, in fact, learned, learned quite a bit and I want to show you what I figured out. So the first step was to go into UI Builder. So actually, let me get out of this right here. I'm just gonna go to the editor. So I'm in Justin's house here. And if I go to upper right hand side, view experience settings, I think that does the same thing as this toggle right here. It's just another button to get you there. So I'm gonna try it this way. Yep, that takes me to settings. And in this one there in the general section, there is advanced settings. So advanced settings is gonna take me to the regular classic legacy UI. And I'm gonna be looking at a UX page um, record for UX application record for Justin's house. So a user experience application record for Justin's house. And this is what it looks like on the back end using that workspace app shell. Now that toolbar on the left hand side that we saw in my workspace, this is called a Chrome toolbar uh, page property, right? So if you look here, I've got Chrome toolbar and it's using a L1 configuration, I don't know what that means, but it's got a JSON object in there that's basically managing that menu. And I just need to update that to fix it. So if I go to Chrome toolbar, I wanna look at the JSON, it's in this box here, um, kind of hard to read, but that's okay. Notice I've got my ID for home and the route for home, it actually, you can change this. So if I wanted to route that home button to somewhere else, I could change the route value here to something else. Now, what's messing up is my list. So if I go here, I've got an ID for list right there, and then it repeats again the same one list right there. So basically, I've got an extra list. So let's take a look at that again. I got one and two, and when I click on one, it actually selects both. So it's just really weird how that works. Um, let's just click on a couple of things and make sure that's working, yeah, like we, like we th think it should, yeah. So if I go to this one, it's the same thing. They're both doing the list view. So I just need to get rid of one of those, and hopefully this workspace will look a little better. So I haven't done this yet. I haven't practiced. We're going to do it together. I'm just going to get rid of that second one, so I'm going to remove it entirely there. Just get rid of that extra, whoops, I just screwed that up. Um, get rid of that extra copy. So delete, and now I have one home, one list object, and one analytics object. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, let's let's do something. I'll show you a best practice here. I'm going to control Z. I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to put that over in my notes so that uh, if I need to get back to that for some reason because I screwed up how I did this, I can go ahead and quickly paste that back in. So I should have done that the first time. So let's try deleting that one more time. So I'll highlight that, delete Everything looks good for my commas. I'm gonna update and then hopefully that fixes it and my extra list menu is gone and I've learned something and you've learned something about UI Builder and working with these workspaces, specifically that left-hand menu, that toolbar that seems so mysterious because you can't find a setting for it anywhere inside of the UI Builder. And sure enough, look, it fixed it, it reloaded the page and went back to Justin's house. But I'm just gonna go back to this one where I had Justin's house open and let's go ahead and just, uh, I can close UI Builder too and we'll hit refresh and we should see that second list menu disappear if I did this correctly and I would be left with a home page, a list menu, an analytics center which is all I want for my workspace in this particular situation and yes I finally got rid of the extra list menu so now I can go between my home page which has my dashboard on it which I can tailor to what I'm doing for my videos and content and crawling and all that stuff has all my widgets on it and then go back to my list view and I'm very happy about that so that's my first UI builder video of where I'm showing you what I'm learning I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like please subscribe or share with somebody who you think might be interested in learning more about UI Builder in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.